Sea Base 1 habitat, sitting at a depth of 60 feet on a coral sand bottom, nestled into a beautiful, pristine coral reef off the coast of Belize. It is the second largest coral reef system in the world, and it could be your next vacation destination. If all goes according to plan, this permanent underwater habitat will give educators, researchers, and yes, even tourists, a chance to study coral reefs in the Caribbean Sea. Ken Fagelman is the only Canadian team member of the Sea Base One expedition. He joins us this morning from Kingston, Ontario. Ken, let's make something clear. This isn't an underwater hotel. This isn't a, a tourist gimmick. This is an underwater lab, right? Uh, correct. The uh, the um, prime raison d'etre for the Sea Base One undersea research habitat uh, is to encourage uh, undersea research, uh, primarily coral reef research. Uh, the acronym for the project is REEF, which stands for Research, Education, and Ecotourism Facility. But it definitely is not an underwater hotel. By the way, it will not have any bidets and will not be surrounded by alligators. <laughs> that, is, that is good news. Okay, but are you encouraging tourists to go? Or will you be? I'm sorry, I lost you there will for you, a moment. Will you be encouraging tourists to, to visit this facility? Yes, um, uh, diving uh, tourists will be invited to um, to tour around the facility from an underwater perspective uh, off Ambergris K in Belize. Uh, the uh, facility is only in uh, 60 feet of water, and in some instances, uh, eco tourists will be invited to work with research and live inside the habitat for periods of time, such as days on end. All right, Ken, why this location? What's significant about it? Well, Belize is a very stable country in Central America. Um, it's, uh, as you said earlier, it uh, possesses the second largest uh, barrier coral reef in the world. The reef is, uh, system is quite pristine, lots of marine life, and it's a very safe, uh, stable uh, government in that area. And uh, easy to get to from all parts of the world, especially uh, various major cities in North America and uh, just a, a wonderful place to be and to be diving and doing undersea research. Can, can give us a snapshot of the, the state of coral reef health on this planet? Well, I think most of us have been reading or hearing in the news what's been happening with oil spills off uh, the Gulf and all the uh, dire circumstances of reefs around the world. Uh, what most of us don't realize is coral reefs only occupy less than 2% of the ocean bottom yet they serve as a nursery and habitation for more than 75% of the ocean's uh, inhabitants. Uh, in many parts of the world, the reefs have been virtually destroyed by uh, acid rain, pollution, uh, human intervention, so on and so forth. Uh, it is not a very uh, rosy situation, and the reef soft Belize will serve as a great working base to conduct in situ uh, undersea research on coral reefs, etc. Okay, now why build a permanent structure though rather than just doing what were called bounce dives back and forth? Right, that's an excellent question. Uh, typically, uh, scientists would do bounce dives from boats and far from shore. Uh, by having uh, the sea-based habitat, sea base one habitat uh, on the west side of a coral canyon, the, uh, the coral cliff is about 25 feet high, uh, and if you can envision the uh, habitat is moored uh, to a 60-foot bottom. It's a very safe environment. The uh, aquanauts, meaning the uh, 25 or so people living inside the habitat, do not have to go back and forth to the surface, don't have to worry about decompression, uh, don't have to worry about uh, other uh, ailments, uh, aff afflictions related to diving. You've all heard of the bends and so on and so forth. And uh, they're also not at the whim of Mother Nature and storms. Uh, Ken, it sounds absolutely fascinating, and we wish you all the best and great luck on this project. Thank you very much. All right.